The color menu in your Squarespace website might look a little intimidating the first time that you log in. You've got a color palette and color themes and a ton of different options inside there. So in this video, I'm going to teach you all about it. Let's go ahead and hop right into Squarespace and get started. So here we are in my demo site, and I do want to remind you this is specific for version 7.1, the latest version of Squarespace. You won't find this color option menu in an older version of Squarespace. So if you're using the latest one, you're watching the right tutorial. Now there are two ways to access this menu. We'll start by clicking on design and then selecting site styles. And you'll see on the right hand side of my screen, our style menu just opened up. I'll go ahead and click close and show you one last time. We'll hop out of edit mode here. What we did was select design and then clicked on site styles. However, from any page on your site, if you're in edit mode, click on this paintbrush icon on the top right hand side and you'll reach that same menu from any page. Okay, so we're there. Let's go ahead and click on colors. Now here we have a color palette and color themes and right away you'll notice something very different about our page. Squarespace is going to tell me what color theme I've assigned to each page section on this particular page. I will show you how to do that later on in the video, how to change these. Right now, I have all of these sections lined out for each one of the color themes, okay? So starting with our palette, this is a way to automatically update any color that's been assigned in one of your color themes. I have white, gray, that light blue, a darker gray, and solid black. Watch what happens if I select Edit Palette and clicking on this circle right here for that light blue, I actually moved this along and grabbed a purple instead. Let's go for an even more vibrant purple. There we go. Now check it out. Everything that was assigned that light blue color has now been updated to that purple color. Pretty awesome, isn't it? So if you make a change to your color palette, you're going to update the content that's been assigned based off of that color theme. Now for this palette, you can click on any of these circles and change them by clicking here typing right here the HSL color code or a hex color code, whatever you want to do there. Or scrolling down here, you've got a bunch of presets you can select as well. You can also upload an image and Squarespace will pull the main colors from that image. Or you can start with a basic color. We've selected that purple for the middle there and Squarespace will recommend a monochrome, complementary, analogous, or a secondary analogous color palette for us. So if you've got one color to work with and you want a little bit of help, select from color. Select from image to upload an image and have it pick the colors you want or grab a preset if you want to use Squarespace's design team instead of your own style there, totally up to you. But if you know what color you're going to work with, click on this center circle and type your main color right in here, hex color code, HSL, RGB, whatever you'd like, or click around until you find exactly the color you're going for. Maybe it's going to be a vibrant green and there you go. So again, this is from our main site styles menu. I've selected colors and we're working on our color palette right here. Clicking on the palette or clicking on the words edit palette will take you to that screen that we were just on. Now let's go back here and talk about your color themes because this is where the magic happens. You'll notice even the little preview has been updated to that green that we've selected as well as all of the content on my site. This right here is an image with that light blue. That's why that didn't change. <laughs> Everything else that's been assigned to color has been updated. Let's go ahead and click into our color themes. I'm going to click this edit icon right here next to lightest one. And that means I'll be editing the colors for anything assigned the lightest one color theme. Now here we can select the background. If I click on this circle right here, it's been assigned to that color from my color palette, but I can select a different color from my color palette or I can hop into custom and assign any color I want. How cool is that? There we go. Now we've made it a bright yellow to go along with Gus the pineapple here and the green standing out. Definitely able to customize it or just pick something from your color palette. Now here on the palette, I do want you to notice one really interesting thing. At the bottom, we have something to adjust the opacity or level of transparency of that color. If I scoot this over a little bit, you're going to see that gray get lighter and lighter because that's what I'm adjusting using the slider here. So if you want it to be slightly transparent, definitely check that out. There are some cases where that's really helpful. I'm going to go and move this background back to that selection from our color palette. And it, you'll notice as soon as I hover over this image, we're getting a blue border. That means I can select it. So I'm going to click on this image and immediately over here on the right hand side, all of the options I have will narrow down to what I've selected, which is the collage image. 
Now let's say I actually want this card background to be a little transparent. I can click on that circle and I can pull this over just a little bit so now we can see more content behind that card. Pretty cool, right? Now same with the image overlay. If I click on this, you'll see I have an overlay on top of that image. Well, what if I actually want it to be slightly brighter or much darker? I've got some options there. And again, I can click on custom and grab any color I want. Maybe we need to give Gus the pineapple a little bit of a blue tint. There we go. Totally an awesome option that you can use by clicking on the circle and selecting custom. Or go back to the palette and grab something from your color palette. Now a word of caution, if you click custom and assign a custom color to anything, that won't be changed when you update your color palette. Only colors assigned from the color palette will be changed when you change the palette. Kind of straightforward, but I thought I should mention it just in case you weren't sure. All right, I'll go ahead and select show all and let's check out some of the other options we have here. We have 10 different color themes to work with. And if we scroll down a bit, here we go, we'll see that bright one has this image card that's the same color as the background and I don't like that. So once again, we're seeing that blue border pop around. I'm gonna click on that image and check it out. It's narrowed it down to bright one, just the image block collage. So here I can say, all right, let's make this card background a solid white color instead and let's change this text to, how about making the title that color and we'll make the subtitle that color. There we go, now it's been updated. So again, clicking anywhere, any of the content on your site is going to give you the option to edit that piece of content over here. We'll see at the very bottom we have dark two, I'll click on this, and now I have the dark two color palette selected. If you wanna change something about a color palette and you don't see it on the screen, just click this drop down menu and select it and then you'll be able to edit that specific color palette. You can also click show all if you want to see all of the content that you can change for that particular color palette. This gives you a lot of options. For example, I don't have any video grids on this page whatsoever, but if I know I want to change this color, I can just click that circle and grab something from the color palette or select something custom, totally up to you. If you select show all at the top when it's narrowed down, let's get that again by clicking on this image. If you select show all, you'll be able to make a lot more changes to things that you won't necessarily see on that specific page. Now, one last time to recap, I'm gonna hop out of here. We're gonna go ahead and select save. And again, from your main menu, select design and select site styles to get this menu on the right hand side. And if you pick colors, you can select edit palette to change the color palette Let's say you know what uh, color you want to go for here. I know this is one of my favorite shades of light blue. I'll type that hex color code in there. And Squarespace will update everything assigned that color in my color palette to the new color that I selected. Pretty cool, right? And let's say you want to change one specific thing. Let's hop back out of here. And I want to adjust, where did it go? The text on this particular image. This is on a bright one color theme, so let's go down and select bright one. I clicked the edit icon, and here I can just click on the image and it'll narrow down my options and I'll say, oh, the subtitle, that's what I need to change. Clicking on this circle lets me select something from my color palette, or clicking custom allows me to assign it any color that I want. Whatever you decide to do, just select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. And before I forget to mention again, if you're in edit mode on any page on your website, just click this paintbrush icon right here and this will open up your site styles menu. Here you can pick colors and go right back to all those options we had before. Again, that's from edit mode, just click the paintbrush icon on the top right hand side of your website preview. And that about wraps it up for this overview of your color menu, but you have a ton of other options on creating a super customized looking site in Squarespace. I have another training on the font menu specifically, which I highly recommend checking out if you're new to Squarespace. You have a lot more options than it looks like when you first log in. I also have a brand new video I just released on how to build a Squarespace site in 10 minutes. I know, 10 minutes, I timed it, pretty cool, right? Both of those are linked below, so check them out when you're ready to keep this education train a rolling. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give me a like or a comment below, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.